Hey guys, Sal here, and today we're going to be talking about the different body types at Integrity Toys. I've been collecting for around 10 or 11 years, not counting the years that I had them as a little kid, but I really hope you find this video useful. If you find it useful, please share. I'm going to be focusing on the current body types that are out there within the market. So if you guys want me to make a video about the older body types, I can totally do it. Just let me know. Yeah, so let's get started. Hey guys, so the first doll that we're going to talk about and her body type is Poppy Parker. Poppy Parker is a character from the 60s, so her proportions are going to be better suited for a 1960s mod era style. As you can see, the proportions on the left are for the high heeled body and the ones on the right are for the traditional Poppy Parker body. The hands, if you can see, they are very similar and what I love about them is that they're actually very graceful. So they're very nice. They pop out and as I was telling you guys with the current Integrity Toys bodies, all of them come out and they can actually all, all their joints can be dissembled. So if you want to mix and match, you can totally do that too. And as we get to the bottom, we see the feet, which is the main difference with those bodies. The one on the left is more arched and more suited for a stiletto. And then the one on the right is better suited for more of a kitten heel and a flat, which were shoes that were very popular in the 1960s. So let's turn them to the front so we can take a better look from the front. Hi guys, so here are the bodies from a front view and like I said, it's basically the same thing. It's just that the high heel body, you know, has high heel feet and Poppy does have slimmer proportions and she's actually a lot shorter than FR2 or FR6 now. And at the end, I'll put one of each body with kind of like a representative proportion of each doll and that way we can compare them better. I actually wanted to tell you guys that the Poppy Parker body, it's very similar to Misaki, but we'll talk more about Misaki and the little differences that it has compared to Poppy. So yeah, let's move on to Misaki and we're also going to talk about the industry. So yeah, let's go on. Hey guys, so here I have the industry body on the left and I have Misaki's body on the middle and I also have Poppy Parker on the right so we can compare them a little bit better. So the one on the left it's the industry body and that one's basically the fashion industry. So David Botry actually does a really good job. He chooses different characters for from different parts of fields of fashion. So you'll have like a makeup artist, the model, and Tula Bell which is the main character. She's, gr she's Poppy's granddaughter and she's a fashion blogger so I thought that was pretty cool because we can all relate to her and we have the industry body which has the same hands as Poppy Parker and then Misaki it's actually really similar to Poppy Parker it's just slightly different and with the proportions the feet are a little bit bigger than Poppy's I wouldn't say necessarily bigger because they kind of can share shoes but Misaki has wider feet, if that makes sense. There, it's just a different sculpt for the feet and the hands are actually a little bit different too. They're more, they're more demure as opposed to Poppy who has the more graceful hands. And Misaki actually is, um, you know, your typical Harajuku girl and her fashion is very Japanese inspired. I actually think she is a Japanese character, so that's really cool that you can see like all the fun outfits that are so colorful and so beautiful from Japanese fashion, so that's awesome. And what I love about the industry feet, they actually, I'm going to point out, this is the industry as I mentioned before, and they actually, some of them come with feet similar to Poppy and Misaki. But with the industry feet, they're a little bit narrow, so they can actually share shoes with other brands. So if you have shoes already from, you know, whatever doll brand you may collect or whatever, they, if they're 11 and a half inch, they usually fit the industry foot. So I thought that was pretty awesome. And yeah, these are the main differences between all these bodies. 
Hey guys, so here are the bodies to the front, and as I've mentioned, the industry body does have more model-like proportions, and Misaki's more sweet, and, you know, they work for a Harajuku style. Or, I wouldn't say necessarily Harajuku, it can also be more Lolita, and yeah, it's just like Japanese street style in general, and it's really cute. And again, the proportions are really similar, but like I've mentioned before, I love the industry bodies because they can share clothes and shoes with a lot of different brands, which is really cool if you have a lot of clothes from other collections. And yeah, let's move on to the next body type. This to the left, it's the FR Fashion Royalty line, and to the right, we have the New Face line. These also are obviously from the convention, the Lux Life convention. And let's do some comparing. Um, so if you guys know, Fashion Royalty mainly focuses on women who are in their 30s, early 40s, and the line is usually about a cosmetics line in the feuds that they have between them, and you know, all that good stuff, all that drama. And the storylines for the new face, the girl on the right, it's basically... A modeling agency and obviously there's drama that goes down <laughs> as with everything but this is more on the younger end of things so I'm guessing this is gonna be like the 18th through 30 early 30s line so some comparisons as you can tell the fashion royalty line um, has a body figure that's more fully you know it has more breast <laughs> to put it on plainer terms and the younger line which is the new face line they have smaller breasts and I think that the reason that they did that it's because it is the model line so it's obviously going to be more aesthetically model like and one of the big comparisons is pretty much just that I mean the lower body it's very similar similar knees these are the newer knees that we've been talking about on my blogs on Instagram and the feet are actually the same, so they can pretty much share their shoes. Um, let me do a side profile so you guys can see them sideways. Hey guys, so here's the side profile, and I'm actually glad that I turned them sideways because you can begin to see more differences. So like the main difference that I pointed out earlier was that this one has fuller breasts as opposed to this one. But I'm actually noticing that the hips and the butt on the fashion royalty lines are actually a little bit bigger than the new face line and again it's just like a totally slimmer figure in comparison to the fashion royalty line and again I wanted to remind you guys that the new face line is part of the modeling agency that Lucas Maverick the doll he's the, he's basically the agency owner and you know this is where it all revolves the story and everything but yeah, this is mainly the difference. I do want to point out that the hands are better now. I do like those longer nails that they debuted on the RuPaul doll. They also include a pair of the traditional hands, but I feel like these are just more aesthetically pleasing and more fierce. So I really do hope that they continue to be out there. And another difference that I noticed a little bit on the new face is the tummy. It's slightly flatter. Yep, definitely a little bit flatter. And the back is more slim on new face but other than that that's the main difference so i hope that this is useful hey guys so another thing that i wanted to mention is that some dolls will now include an extra set of flat feet so i have elise Sedosan to the left and i have eugenia to the right bibasite so that i can kind of like compare for you what the differences are so it's basically you know gonna be the same body but um, the one with the flat feet, which is at least on the left, you know, some dolls are going to come with extra sets of legs. And as I've mentioned on my videos earlier or, you know, on my comments on Instagram and everything, Integrity toy dolls, you can literally take the joints out or you can swap them, mix and match and... Like I said, some dolls are going to come with flat feet, an extra set of flat feet. Or, you know, maybe it's up to the designer. Maybe they'll just have, like, regular feet. And this is, are the original feet that she came with, the ones that I'm showing you on camera. The traditional high-heeled feet. And 
you know, an option for her was that she came with the flat feet so she could wear her wadaches that she came with. And I think that's a really cool thing that they have bodies that dissemble because if you ever have an issue with a body where, you know, a part is defective or something like that, you can always reach out to them and they'll totally replace it for you as long as it's within the one year warranty that they have and are known for. So yeah, that's a really cool feature that I wanted to show you guys. Hey guys, so here's a quick recap of all the bodies. And the only reason that I'm showing you this frame right now is so that you can compare them in height. Um, FR and Nofis are obviously going to be taller. And then the industry is going to be slightly shorter. And Misaki and Poppy are going to be around the same height. So that's the only reason that I'm showing you this frame right now. So you guys can kind of like compare whether like within height and all that good stuff. Hi guys, so I'm actually not going to go into depth with male bodies because I feel like that's a category of its own entirely. If you guys want me to make a video about the ohm or male or new phase or industry or is 59th street male dolls, I will gladly make one. I just have to get a newer ohm because I unfortunately don't own one, but this is just a quick view of what the standard traditional own body frame looks like and yeah i just wanted you guys to kind of like take a quick pick and let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a video about the male bodies at integrity toys i will happily make one hi guys it's me again so i unfortunately don't have a current rupaul doll i only have the og right here supermodel of the world but my friend Wendy does have one of those beautiful new dolls that sold out and I couldn't get my hands on. So she is going to provide some footage for us. So thank you so much for the footage, Wendy. Such a way, my dear. Not going to work for this video, but I still love you. <laughs> so here we have the beautiful Miss RuPaul with the new body. And as you can tell, the breasts are bigger and she's actually a little taller than the other girls. But, you know, overall, the proportions are very similar. Her legs are a little bit you know, similar to Fashion Royalty, and she actually has the same shoe size as Fashion Royalty and New Face. And those are the nails that I was telling you guys about, that she was the first one to have those, and they're amazing. So, quick facts, she's, you know, curvy, she has bigger breasts, and she can share shoes with New Face and Fashion Royalty, and that's awesome, because she can share clothes with other girls. So, unfortunately, I don't have an East 59th doll. I don't have one of those beautiful vintage-inspired dolls yet. But my friend Wendy Never Forever did. So she sent some footage for us. So let's go ahead and check it out. So thank you so much, Never Forever, for also sending footage for this doll. And this doll does have bigger breasts, as we just noticed. And she has the perfect silhouette for a 1950s cut. So, you know how everything was so fitted and the waist was so tiny, so this doll does have a smaller waist so that the 1950s inspired clothing can look best on her. And she is, I would say, a little similar to the industry body height-wise, and those shoes she can wear industry shoes. So, yeah, this is her. Thank you so much for the footage, Wendy. Hi guys, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much, Wendy, at Never Forever on Instagram for the footage of the dolls that we didn't have in hand. And again, like I mentioned before, this is just focused on the female bodies. If you guys want to see some footage on the male bodies, I can try to get one of the newer own bodies. I just have to like look for one. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.